what is good in the hood and what do we have here now we're just gonna cover the fundamentals like we did last time with seven and shoot let's just get started the defense a uh, very interesting stat doesn't really need the defense anyways for defense is one of the trendiest numbers that you could possibly have for defense right now anyways and then high speed is just straight like this is just an absolute nightmare now boots and blasters the only thing that's um really starting to get to me is like how blasters just became more more perfect as the as like the the months have gone by for ones at least the grounded dare was such a good addition and now we actually have it and it just makes sense uh, I already don't like battle boots because all of that is confirmed but I mean shoot at this point I have to give up because I just probably have to go with the time to pick up Tesker or something all right so let's see here active input without actually hitting the attack it's a it's a high active frame root move so I expect low recovery but like yeah Wait a minute. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, bro. Oh, it, it, it might just be over. I think it might just be over, guys. That initial hitbox is insane. It literally reaches so far out in the center. I honestly am not too offended by it because at least it is a high active frame move. Now the star is relatively low, um, which is a little bit scary. This reminds me of Kaya's Spear for some reason, and I think it just has a lot to do with with the properties of the D6 and the side six so far, where it's just, where it's just like a long reacher and then just like a stack thing that just has a lot of active frames. Oh, you can just hold it. So if you wanted to, you could hold it on the wall. Yes, ha <laughs> slay. This. The side stick, oh my, interesting. I really, does it have like wall properties or anything? Not really, right? It's a very plain stick, I'll be honest. But for a boot stick, you have no idea how important that is for a good weapon, assuming that they have it. Now this. So as long as they don't dodge, you'll probably be fine. If you dodge, you're probably gonna get your dodge covered by NSYNC anyway. If we're gonna if we're gonna have coverage things like these, remember what the trade-off is. Because coverage is mixed with either high recovery or low force. Just pick your poison. And since this is like a six string character or whatever, or five string character or whatever, it's making so that they kill relatively late in response anyways. Now this initial hitbox is insane. I was I was talking about this on the stream. I was just like, dude, as much as this character is made for for boots, you could just tell like how far they they were ready to go. This is absolutely insane. This might be one of the best blasters legends we've seen like to this day since Lucian. This is a practical example. Uh oh! Wait! 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 No! Now this is fine. This is a, this is essentially like a stacked like wood punish, like aerial wood punish. So let's say this Jay under something, like just go, comes up in the air, um, and then you like back up or something, and then the, the guy like stares in your direction, and then you just go in and then punch him. Wait, but it's also like a grounded attack but it's just easy and like at the right range obviously i didn't do it there but you know what i'm talking about never mind i did like she is currently covering so many weaknesses right now wow dominating yarg okay <laughs> Ooh, I'm gonna have so much fun playing against this. 